Can you tell us, uh, maybe Jane, you can tell us a bit more, what's the difference between proof of work and proof of less work? Is this your, your model of proof of work that you're using? Uh, yeah. So proof of work is like, uh, has been there for, for more than 10 years and uh, we have analysis it uh, for a long time. Uh, right now, the main job like, of proof of work is the energy consumption, right? Uh, so as a new blockchain and we really like to adopt proof of work. So we uh, come up with this new algorithm called proof of less work to mitigate the energy consumption issue. Uh, it, it's in, inspired by research work done by uh, several uh, researchers in Israel. Uh, so the main idea is to uh, shift some of the physical uh, ex external costs uh, to some of the network costs by burning some coins. Uh, in this way, uh, we keep the same level of security as the classic proof of work. And in, in the meantime, we try to reduce energy consumption. So that's the main difference. Otherwise, uh, we are still kind of like the same proof of work algorithm as Bitcoin or uh, other blockchains. So very much based on, on the Bitcoin Bitcoin model, but with less. So how, how do you ensure that it uses less energy than Bitcoin? Yeah, so let's say right now, um, if you want to mine a new block in Bitcoin, you just need to uh, throw a, lo a lot of rigs to uh, to, to mine the same block. Um, and the, in this process, you need to, uh, it costs a lot of uh, electricity and then you need to uh, pay for the e electricity bills. Uh, in this way, you cost, uh, uh, you, you are going to uh, use a lot of energy. Uh, in other field, in proof of less work is a bit different. It means when you need to mine a new block, you need to, not only you need to, uh, to put some electricity into the into your rigs to to mine block, you also need to uh, burn some of the coins. Uh, in this way, it means, uh, let's say, if we if one of eight is done by the physical uh, mining, uh, and the the rest seven of eight is done by proof of burning, you burn the coins uh, in the network. Uh, in this way, the the cost is still the same, but you only need to use for like um, only one one over eight of the energy uh, as the Bitcoin approach, right? Uh, but still, the cost is the same. Uh, the security is the same. So that's how we achieve this. Uh, uh, set, how we uh, save energy in this way. Cool. So it's basically eight times more efficient. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And still, you money. have. As all such. the cool properties of a big money. Maybe, maybe worth mentioning. Cool. Yeah, maybe it's worth mentioning also that uh, for now we are uh, simply proof of work, and that this property of burning tokens is enabled uh, yeah. when we reach some particular threshold. Okay. So that's uh, like the next step. The, no, the code the is uh, implemented already. Uh, right now, we don't. Uh, the we, the setup is when the hash rate is high enough, it will get uh, activated automatically. Uh, the reason we do this is we don't need to. Yeah, right now we don't need to educate oh, miners about yeah. this. You know, it's it's much easier to bootstrap. Cool, nice done. <laughs> uh, and also, it's fully permissionless for the bootstrap phase. Yeah, nice. 